Hi students, uh, this is Mr. Simons and we're going to do a little file and folder management inside of Google Drive today. So here's my Google Drive. I'm going to get started in a minute, but I'm going to tell a quick story first. I used to be what's called the Eugene Computer Tutor and I had eugenecomputertutor.com. Uh, mostly helping out uh, retired folks uh, FaceTime with their grandkids and get into their email. But one day I got a call from a professor at the university, a genius in his field, but he had always paid people to do the personal computing for him. So I got to um, his computer and we sat down and um, let's use a fictional name for him. We'll call him Marcus Brody. And Poor Marcus had saved inside of every single folder of his computer a document named Marcus.docx, his first name, right? And poor Marcus had to open file after file to find his stuff. He had, he had stuff strewn all over the place in his computer. It's sort of like taking all of your paper files and going to a closet and just throwing them in the closet and then expecting to go back and be able to find them later. And so um, I showed him some of the organizational techniques I'm going to show you. And a week later, I went back and we looked at his computer. He said, look, 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 I, I've got everything organized. And um, to this day, I bet he uses some of the techniques that I've shown you. This is not by any means the end all be all of uh, naming conventions, but it really works. And uh, so we're gonna get started here. I'm actually gonna zoom in just a little bit more for us so we can really see how this works. Okay, so we go to the new button here and we're gonna do a new folder here. And here's our folder. And I'm gonna start with the who, who made, who made the folder? You know, we wanna know that it was one of the ones that you made when you're looking for it. And I use my initials, so the three initials there. And then I put a little piece of punctuation to separate that from the when, the date. Important thing about punctuation, okay? Slashes indicate that it should go to a subfolder. So it's a command to the computer. It doesn't work inside a file name. There are places you can get away with punctuation in, so, in some software, but there are three things that are universally acceptable in almost every software. And that is the period, the underscore, and the hyphen. So I suggest you keep to those, okay? Keep to those if you're, if you're doing some delineating of elements within your file names. We also wanna keep file names really, really short. The shorter they are, the easier they are to read in whatever field they appear in. I know we've all seen files that are way too big for the field they appear in, and, uh, and so you can't always read everything that's there. And so we wanna make these really short. We're gonna start with our folder name here for our home folder, and I'm gonna do today's date without any punctuation, month, date, and year, two digits for each. And we've got uh, the who and the when, and then let's say something about it, the what it is, right? And let's make that our home folder uh, here. And now that's gonna live inside our Google Drive alongside our classroom folder. You don't wanna mess with the classroom folder other than you, you can get in there and find resource files that you need in um, your different Google Classrooms here. Okay, let's double click on the home folder here and then we're inside the home folder now and let's make another folder. And this is, let's call this our documents folder, okay? Yeah. Okay, and so now we have a folder inside a folder. Let's make another folder in here. And let's call this our PIX folder. And um, you can make as many folders as you need to to keep things organized. It really helps to organize things when you make folders and folders inside of folders instead of throwing a whole bunch of files into one place and expecting to be able to sort through them. So folders are a great way to stay organized. Okay, let's throw a couple of things into our folders here. Here's, here's our docs folder. And so I'm gonna go ahead and drag 
a file that I have and then I'm going to rename this file once it gets in there and so I'm going to rename this with the who when and what technique all right so there's our there's our who when and what and then you'll notice that this that this file because it's a file has an additional piece of information on it the xlsx that's called an extension and it tells us what kind of file it is and it also tells us what kind of software might be there to open it up for us okay so uh let's go ahead and save that now and then uh, let's go um, also to our picks folder. Let's drop a pick in there and we'll take a look at the file extension on a picture here. And we'll rename this one. And I like that name for it here, but we want it, we want to do the who and when. And this one's a PNG, so we know it's an image, that anything that can open an image will be able to open this particular file. So there's that additional extension on any files that you have. Okay, so let's review. Okay, we made a home folder here, and it's inside our drive. So here's our home folder. Let me get rid of this. Here's our home folder, we double click on that. We made two folders inside the home folder and inside each of those we put a file and named everything using the who, the when, and the what. Now I like to keep to just using the periods because they're short, um, but you can use the underscore or the hyphen when you're making file names as well. But I, I suggest you keep them as succinct as possible and uh, that'll help you stay organized. So hey, thanks for joining me here on this quick tutorial on file and folder management. We'll see you again soon. Buddy, bye bye.